Good morning. Let us see today what are PV isotherms of carbon dioxide and critical phenomena. Critical phenomena, critical temperature, critical pressure and volume they are obtained from the Andrews PV isotherm plots. Okay. Then what are permanent gases? What are temporary gases? They are also based on critical temperature. Okay. Now let us first study PV isotherms of carbon dioxide. Andrews studied the PV relationships relationship of carbon dioxide at a series of temperature and he plotted the PV curve obtained for carbon dioxide at different temperatures. At different temperatures as shown here. What is isotherm? Same temperature. For example, a plot of pressure against the volume at particular temperature is called isotherm. By varying the pressure, for example by varying the pressure, the volume is measured at a particular temperature, the curve of time is called the PV isotherm. Okay. For example, at 31, 13.1 degrees Celsius, the pressure volume curve of time is as follows. And similarly, with the increasing temperature, at high temperature, 48.1 degrees Celsius, the following, the, the following PV curve is obtained. Okay, now let us see, let us describe the curve. Let us describe the low temperature curve. Curve A, B, C, D. Curve A, B, C, D. Curve A, D. This is the isotherm measured at 13.1 13 degrees Celsius. First, A, increasing pressure. For example, you are increasing pressure. Increasing pressure. What will happen? Volume will decrease. When you increase the pressure, volume will decrease. Therefore, increasing pressure, increasing pressure, volume, see, pressure is increasing. This direction and the volume is decreasing along the curve AB. Along the curve AB. Okay. At B, liquefaction starts. At B, the carbon dioxide gas begins to liquefy. Begins to liquefy. Okay. And at point C, the liquefaction continues along the curve. The liquefaction continues along the curve BC. At point C, all the carbon dioxide gases are converted into liquid. All gases become liquid. Okay. Therefore, if you see along the curve AB, only gas is present. Carbon dioxide gas is present. Along the curve BC, both liquid and gas present. Both liquid gas present because the liquefaction um, starts. Liquid is also present and the gas also present. Along the curve BC, both the phases, liquid and gas phases are present. Along the curve CD, only liquid is present. You see, the curve is steep, steep, steep because liquids are incompressible. Incompressible, therefore, when you increase the pressure, liquid, it won't, there won't be no, ch no change in volume, no change in volume. Therefore, only pressure increases, volume remains almost constant. Volume remains almost constant because liquids are incompressible, gases are compressible, okay. Right. Now, as temperature increases, as the temperature increases 13.1 degrees, 31.1, 48.1, the horizontal portion, as we see, decreases, the horizontal portion decreases at 31.1 degrees Celsius, the horizontal portion becomes a, reduces to a point, becomes a point X, becomes a, reduces to a point X. Now, above that, so the liquefaction, the liquefaction occurs between 13.1 degree to 31.1 degree. Above the temperature, above the 31.1 degree, there is no liquefaction. There is no liquefaction because there is no horizontal portion, there is no uh, influx. Okay, there is no. So above 31.1 degree, no liquefaction, no liquefaction. The gas cannot be liquefied above this temperature. However, you increase the pressure. Over, you increase the pressure, you apply the pressure. Okay. So, what is based on these curves? Critical phenomena was uh, deduced. They are critical temperature, pressure, volume. What is critical temperature? It is same. It is the temperature above which 
the gas cannot be liquefied. Okay, it is the temperature. What is the what is the critical temperature of carbon dioxide? Thirty one point one degree is the critical temperature. Above the temperature above which the gas cannot be liquefied. No matter how much pressure you apply, no matter how much pressure, however the pressure high is. Okay. For example, forty eight point one degree. The gas cannot be liquefied because the temperature is above the critical temperature Tc thirty one point one. Okay. So next critical pressure. What is the critical pressure? Critical pressure is defined as the minimum certain pressure required to liquefy the gas at critical temperature. For example, at critical temperature thirty one point one degree Celsius, what is the minimum pressure required? You can have 200 atmosphere, but the minimum pressure required to liquefy CO2 gas at critical temperature is 73 atmosphere. Okay, we need 73 atmosphere in our own atmosphere. So 73 times. What is critical pressure? It is a uh, defined as a pressure defined as a certain minimum pressure required to liquefy the carbon dioxide gas at critical temperature. Now, what is critical volume? It is defined as the volume occupied by one mole of gas at its critical temperature and critical pressure. For example, the critical volume of carbon dioxide is equal to the entropy in mass. That is the volume of volume of one mole of CO2 gas occupied by the CO2 gas at critical temperature and critical pressure. Now, based on critical temperature, the gases are classified into two types: permanent gases and temporary gases. For example, you are studying hydrogen, hydrogen, helium, nitrogen, oxygen. They are all called permanent gases because they cannot be easily liquefied. They cannot be easily liquefied. Whereas temporary gases, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, ammonia, they are called temporary gases because they can be Easily, readily liquefied. Why? How? Why? How do you say that? Because permanent gases have very low critical temperature. Very low critical temperature that is much below the room temperature. For example, the critical temperature of hydrogen is minus two forty degree Celsius. See, you have to bring the gas to below this temperature or this temperature at this temperature. Or below, the hydrogen gas can be liquefied. Room temperature is thirty-five to thirty-five degrees Celsius. Okay, so they are called permanent gases. Whereas temporary gases have critical temperature within the room temperature range, within the range of room temperature. For example, uh, carbon dioxide, the critical temperature is thirty-one point one. It is It is in the within the range of room temperature. Therefore, they are easily liquefiable. They are called easily liquefiable gases, and therefore they are called temporary gases. Okay. So these are very very important. For for example, how many phases are present along the curve we see? What is critical temperature? Um, and why the curve is steep? The C D curve because liquids are incompressible. Okay. Thank you for watching.